Parts of Kevin's call were made public when it was played by the prosecution in the trial of a key 9-11 terrorist. It was used to illustrate the human suffering on that day. And I said, what's the telephone number you're calling? Where is she? You can do it. Let me see there, 4 a.m., 2623. It's on 105th floor, the northwest corner, right? Right. His words haunt me, and I try not to think about it, but it's also, in a way, kind of a comfort to know where he was and what he went through and what he was trying to do. Kevin was always thinking of his family, and he desperately wanted to get out of that building and come home to us. He knew how much we needed him. We were supposed to have many years together. We were supposed to grow old together. Yeah, my wife thinks I'm all right. I told him, said I was leaving the building, I was fine, and bang. It was smoke, new there, 105, two power. All right, sit tight, we'll get to you as soon as we can. Yeah, you should stay up at the smoke, new there, and there's the building we need. That's all we can do. We, we, where are you? Which way are you guys up to? We're getting there. We're getting there. Doesn't feel like it, man. I got young kids. I understand that, sir. One lady called him the voice from the towers. It made it real for her, that it wasn't just a news story, that there were really people in there and it wasn't just buildings. You got lots of people up here. I understand. Smoke rises. You can read it. We're on the floor. We're in a window. And then we had to be in green now. Can't see. Kevin would take Elizabeth on, on the bike and go for rides. And um, he took her to a playground. And after he died, Elizabeth said to me, Mommy, can you take me to the secret playground? And I said, I don't know where it is. I guess what I would want people to learn from listening to the recording is that life is short, that you never know when you're gonna lose your loved ones, and to spend every minute you can showing them that love. And that's what's important in life.